does a certain event, whether it's a head trauma, an infection, or Lyme disease, or some other uh, event that's even non-medical, uh, does that trigger visual snow syndrome? That's another very difficult question to answer because we need to have thousands of people to really understand whether there's a common set of conditions that, that trigger visual snow. Because so many things happen to people in their 20s and 30s that um, occur every day in their life, whether it's gonna be a head injury and concussions are extremely common, whether it's gonna develop a, a, an infection, whether it's a simple virus or Lyme disease, those things are so common that it's hard to yet know whether they're coincidental or whether they're truly related to the onset of, of symptoms and the syndrome.